And for more on this, I've been joined by the National Publicity Secretary of New Nigeria's People Party, People's Party, Yakubu Shendam, and he joins us from our Abuja studio. Good to have you on the news at this time. So yes, first off now, briefly give us insights into the process and factors that led to the emergence of Azena as the party's uh, candidate for the Edo governorship election. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, the election was held yesterday in Benin City at uh, number, seven, uh, number 14 Agbo Road, where we produce our candidate, where the election was held, and the chairman of the of the of the of the election processes, and the, the the returning officer for our party, Senator Kao Samela, have declared as Asame Azana as our elected candidate for a party and he has been returned he's called 211 vote defeating the other three persons who scored 125 and 17. Like I've promised, like we have promised the Nigerian people and the Edo people that we are going to conduct one of the most fierce transparent primary election in the Edo offside election on which we kept to our words. There was no rancor, there was no issue, there were never counter opposition from the aspirant, all of them congratulated Seme Azana and uh, he has been declared winner and of course he has commenced uh, his consultation. Tomorrow he will arrive the National Secretary here at Abuja for further consultation and uh, uh, presentation of uh, certificate of, of return. Right and with that being said now what does the strategies of the NMPP have in place to ensure that a strong and impactful campaign for the candidate. What we like, we have said, NNPP is the party to watch in Edo State. The PDP has led Edo State for over four, over eight years, and uh, there's nothing to show in that state. It has been bastardized. The governor has uh, crippled the economy of, of Edo State. There's nothing you can show there. There are no roads. No electricity, no water, no medical care. The people are dying every day for starvation, especially now that we are facing challenges on food uh, shortages across the country. So we are coming as an alternative to give the people of Edo State. Of course, you know what NNPP stands. We are the party to watch. We put our strategies in place, and I won't come and uh, expose them on national TV on how we are going right. to go about it, because I know most of them are on the watch to know what we're going to do. But I can assure you that our party is very concerned and is going to take up the mantle and we're going to take up Edo State. Right. There's no two ways about that. Said. It is time to clean said. up Edo and we're going to take over. Absolutely. But with that being said, we want to understand the, the party's stance now on key issues affecting Edo, such as infrastructure development, youth empowerment, education, and every other thing that has to do with social economic development of the state. What is the party stance on this? How do you intend to address this? Our candidate is a very rooted grassroots person. This is somebody who has lived the door all his life. And apart from that, he's an overseer of over 128 congregations of religious organizations across the three local government in Edo State. So he has always continued to empower youth. He has given youth a lot of empowerment, even as a private individual. So we believe that with the skills he has as an overseer of this congregation, which he has been doing for the past 10 years in that congregation, we believe he will be able to you know, use the experience and expertise he has gathered over the years to help in alleviating the poverty, the suffering of the youth, creating job opportunity for, for, for them, and especially in agriculture. You know, Edo is also an agricultural area. If you go to Okwila and you go to Ekoma, you will see a lot of farms, farm uh, settlement, like the, the, the palm farm settlement in those areas. He's going to use those opportunities to revitalize, you know, advantage of those farm settlements to create jobs for the youth, the Timi youth of Edo State, so that over years, you know, Edo, they have always known Edo to an extent of going into some social vices, and we are going to stop that. We are going to create opportunity where these young adult children will come back from wherever they have gone to, to come and join her with the Azana government 
to build Edo. And of course, our party, we focus more on education. If you see what is happening in Kano, we want to replicate that in Edo State. Sponsoring of youth to go overseas and get intelligent and get education. That is All what right. Azena stands for in Edo for now. So a lot of our people will be given benefit to go for scholarship overseas when Azena right. takes over as governor of Edo State. Right. Some of the claims you mentioned are unverifiable, but let's quickly go ahead on the next question I want to ask because we understand that the candidate of the NNPP is, was once a candidate, was once under the Labour Party. Do you have any reason on why he joined your party? Is it just solely to seek his ambition as a size from his genuineness to serve the people of Edu, Edu State? What do you have to say about this? Dr. Azema Azena has a journey interest to serve Edo State. That he left the Labour Party long some time ago to come and join is not as if he came because he just wanted to come and join NNPP. He has a journey interest to join our party, but because of the lack of internal democracy in the party he belongs to earlier before now, he has to leave because these parties have already programmed themselves, they've already planned who they are going to give that their, 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 their party of the the ticket of that party to. So him coming here to us, it's not as if he just came because he want to come around, but he came because he want to come and deliver dividends of democracy for the people of Edo State. So I can assure you that he has the capacity to lead Edo people to the promised land. That I can assure you. I've told you where he's coming from. He's coming from a religious background where people are, are decorum, where there is respect and virtue and integrity. So he is coming to come and help the people of Edo to promote agriculture, education, water resources, and security, which is a very big ch challenge now in, in Edo State. So we believe with the word of experience, we will be able to galvanize the, so the support of the youth right. and women to help in checkmating security in Edo State. All right, let me quickly ask you this. For, finally, what's your message to the people of Edo State about NMPC, NMPP's vision to, well, you know, ensure that it delivers its commitments in in terms of good governance, what's your message? Well, uh, I want to advise or call on the Edo people to mobilize themselves because NNPP is the party to beat in Edo State, is the party to watch out for in the 2024 September off cycle election in Edo State. Our visions are clear. You can see what we're doing in Kano. Take Kano as a testimony and vote for NNPP in mass in the coming election. I think that is what I would say. Like I said, I don't want to open up too far on what we are going to do, but as we commence the campaign, you will see what we will do in Edo State when we take power. Right. That's a fine place to live. It's a publicity, a publicity secretary of New Nigeria.